Which form is the function g of x is equal to 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 4 written in? So when we're dealing with, and we're in the quadratic functions chapter, so when we're dealing with uh, quadratic functions, uh, we want to be aware of the various forms. So we have the standard form of the quadratic function, and that's going to be some leading coefficient a multiplied by x squared plus some coefficient of b multiplied by x, and then plus some coefficient of c. Okay. Uh, another form of the quadratic uh, function is in vertex form. So the vertex form has a leading coefficient of a, and that's going to be multiplied by this squared binomial. Now this binomial must be squared, and it's going to have then x minus some constant h now. The h is just a special, that looks like a b, the h is just a special um, term that's going to represent uh, the x value actually of the vertex. And in the on the website glazersguide.com we have a whole section dedicated to the vertex form, so I'll explain that more in detail in a later uh, section. And then that's going to be plus um, k, and the k really represents the y-coordinate of the vertex. And then last but not least, we also have something known as the uh, factored form. So the factored form of a quadratic uh, it looks something like this. We're going to have a leading coefficient of a, and that's then going to be multiplied by now two binomials. All right, and in each binomial, you're going to have x in it, the variable, and you're going to be then subtracting now some root value or some zero of the function. So I'm just going to label this R1 and R2. They just stand for numbers. When we get to the zeros of quadratic functions, I'll explain that act a lot more in detail. Right now, we're just looking to recognize the forms. So we go back to then the original question here, and which of the three forms does this function most closely follow? What do you think? You got it. Factored form. And that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. Take a look at our website, glazersguide.com. We got a whole lot of stuff on there to help you through your class. We really want to help you succeed. We hope to see you over there. For more practice and for more fun, go to glazersguide.com. And for more practice and for more fun, come on, go to glazersguide.com. <laughs>